Blizzard's online multiplayer sensation, known as Overwatch, has taken the sports world by storm. This hero-based first-person shooter has captivated millions of fans worldwide, audiences sometimes topping those of professional sports matches. So now try and Super, Bulls 17, saw opportunity in the esports world. Uh, I was in school, like, uh, studying, doing my homework every night, and then Overwatch was the first game that I really got into and looked at competitively. So me and my friends started playing, and we ended up getting really good on a team together, and we eventually got sponsored. A day in the life of a professional streamer is not that different from what you'd expect from a professional athlete. Uh, wake up. Go to the practice facility, practice for six hours, or probably eight hours actually, and then go home and stream. Being a streamer has its ups. The biggest upside is being able to do something you love because many people have jobs that they aren't happy with, and being able to, you know, do do a dream basically is pretty, it's pretty cool because not many people get the opportunity. And it's downs. It is a lot more work intensive than people probably think it is. Um, like, it's not just playing video games, it's, it's a job. You have to make sure that you're, you stay on top of the competition, you're not slacking off. Because uh, if you do, someone's going to take your spot and people are going to beat you. Being digitized, many people don't consider esports to be an actual athletic event. People, like, people think like sports is like physically, it has to be physically draining for it to be a sport. You know, practicing for eight hours a day is like, you actually get tired, like, yeah. you're like, holy crap. I'm Okay, well, okay, well, you shouldn't that, say right? that. <laughs> I'm bleeping. Sinatra also offered a bit of wisdom on how he got successful. I dropped out of high school. <laughs> uh, was it worth it? It was worth it. Very worth it. I'm living the dream. Um, Esports is super fast moving, really exciting space. The audience is super big. Uh, really vocal, uh, young, and it's exciting. So we just started to take a look at it, got involved with one game, and before you know it now, Energy Esports has many teams, including the San Francisco Shock, which is the new Overwatch team for San Francisco. Some people see esports as an investment opportunity. It's interesting, right? Right now, esports is is becoming more and more similar to traditional sports. You know, we have our online presence, we have social media, we have players, contracts, lawyers, we house the guys, we have trainers, we have nutritionists. Uh, now there's an actual real structured league uh, with lots of traditional sports teams in there, and we'll be building a theater or an arena here next year. Andy sees a bright future ahead for esports. The audience already dwarfs most major league sports. We will start to see more of this sort of local localization of esports. Uh, maybe 30 years from now, 20 years from now, you know, you'll be watching the San Francisco Shock, and they'll take your kids there, and it'll be a generational thing. That would be that would make me feel good. And from what we've learned. That future may not be so far away. Foreign Focus, I'm Sam Miller.